Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about wind erosion. Now, there are a number of different ways that topsoil can leave fields. And a lot of times you think about, well, when it rains a lot, that can wash some of that topsoil away. And certainly, rain can definitely lead to problems with erosion. But one thing that is pretty constant in our neck of the woods is wind. There's always wind blowing, and when those big wind gusts come, it's not uncommon to see big clouds of dust leaving fields. So farmers are always addressing protecting their soils from wind erosion. Wind erosion is a big concern for farmers. So first of all, before we get into what farmers do to prevent wind erosion, just understand that the most valuable soil in a farmer's field is in that, that top tenth of an inch. That's the most nutrient rich part. It's got lots of organic matter usually. It's got lots of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, all these valuable nutrients, the plant food basically, that your crop needs to grow. So as a farmer we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect that. So for farmers a lot of the big changes have been in tillage. I think back to when my grandpa was farming, now obviously that was before my time, uh, but, but the way that he farmed and the equipment that he had to do it, when it came to weed control, the guys in those days, they just had to do a lot of tillage. Like you think about the dirty 30s and a lot of people that look back in history say, wow, we had a lot of wind erosion during that time. And we certainly did, but you look at the farming practices then compared to what farmers are doing now, the reduction in tillage has been dramatic. Yeah, but I, I mean, back then they had no other choice. It was their only way to control weeds, to control insects, and to prepare a seed bed. Today, we've got such great equipment equipment, we can go right into standing residue, even standing corn stalks, and we can seed the next crop and do a really good job with it. They couldn't do that back then. Plus, we have great herbicides, great insecticides, all these things, so we don't have to go out there and do all the tillage. We can have great pest control and get good yields without doing the tillage. And the whole point here is, without tillage, we don't have nearly the erosion. If a farmer leaves the residue in the field, leaves it standing from fall till the next spring, then that protects the field. It helps hold the soil in place. It also can trap more snow, so the field is just more protected. The other thing is just the timing of that tillage, too. If you do need to do some tillage out in a field, it's one thing to say, well, I pulled the crop out of the field October 1st. I'm not going to plant again until May 1st. Man, I want to get that field worked right now in October. Well, now you've left half the year, basically, or more than half of the year, where that soil is unprotected from crop residue by doing that tillage immediately following harvest. So we see a lot of farmers waiting until the very tail end of fall, so then they get some snow out in the field, or just waiting until spring before they do that seed bed prep work. That way, there's only just a few days that that soil is really exposed without any ground cover out there rather than months. Another practice that has really caught on with farmers here in the last few years is the use of cover crops. So just like in Darren's example, if it's going to be six months or seven months until the next crop is raised, what farmers are now doing in many cases is throwing a cover crop out there. So that cover crop might only grow for a few months. It might get killed off at the winter, whatever the case may be, but it's there to help protect the soil from erosion. And farmers have no plans of harvesting that cover crop. They just want to get it out there to protect the soil, to make more nutrients available and so forth. So it isn't something where, yeah, you say it's only going to be out there for a few months. Most farmers don't care. They just want to see a good root system developed and some good ground cover above ground just to protect the soil. So cover crops are an important thing too. Well, once again, when it comes to wind erosion, farmers are doing what they can to protect that valuable soil. There's always going to be some degree of wind erosion out there, but the amount that there is today has been dramatically reduced due to reduction in tillage, modern farming practices like the use of no-till equipment or strip-till equipment, and just the fact that we have great herbicides and insecticides today, so tillage isn't required nearly as often as it used to be. Well, one other problem that we see with wind is it can blow weed seeds around the country. One of those weeds may just be our weed of the week. Can you identify this tough weed? 